I'm gonna use the full range of new makeup that Avon launched in the Avon Mark line. So I have all of the stuff here. Like I really wanted, wanted to keep the momentum. So I've had these things on my table for like a week and I just couldn't wait to try them out because I really wanna try them out just like on the camera for the first time. So this is what I'm gonna do. That's just like timing, I'm not gonna make any long intro. I'm gonna use this Avon Mark Prep and Set Spray. So we kind of prepare, but we're also gonna set makeup later on with this little thingy. And throughout the video, I'm gonna like comment on all this, all this stuff as well. So let's see how the spray goes. Oh, wow! Did you see it? It's like it's pretty nice. Okay, whew, so refreshing. I love sprays. Oh, well, <laughs> I made my dress so wet with it. Anyway, let's turn on the mirror. And let's see. Okay, it's kind of wet. I think I have to like wait a little millisecond for it to try. In the places where it's already dry, I can't really like feel anything. I'm not sure if it did anything or... Well, if it didn't minimize my pores, then then it's at least like one layer on my face already and I don't uh, put the foundation on the bare face. So for the foundation, I'm using this new foundation. It's called Fluid Makeup. Fluid Makeup? Really? And it's nude matte. I really hope it uh, fits me. Oh, 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 it's really liquidy. Oh, oh, when I'm moving my face right now, I really feel like the prep um, spray. You know the face masks which like make your face really like, oh, you know, like in place and really tight? It's like a thing like that. But the, right now when I put on the foundation, it's not like that anymore. Here I can still like feel it. It's not that full coverage. But in general, like it blends well. You need kind of a lot of it. I mean the price point is really low, so it shouldn't be like a problem to use it a lot. And also let me know in the comments what one brand tutorials you want next. It's also like first impressions right now because I haven't touched any of these things before. Oh shit! What is this? Oh no way. Let me zoom you in. Can you see this thing here? Like I'm planning it out but it just did something to my skin. Oh my god, this is so bad. No way it did that. All the even stuff is always so good. So how did that happen right now? Like look at this. Okay, let me try to put a little bit on that. Maybe it helps. Oh no. It definitely didn't help anything. It seems like, you know, this little like dead skin, but it also can't be because I scrub my face. When I press really hard and swipe, I can like move around the foundation still. This thing, sorry, I don't like this at all. I know they have other Mark foundations as well. I really wanted to go out with this makeup, but I feel like I can't. Let's move on. I have the concealer here. It's the full cover cream concealer. So as this is not a full cover, and I didn't know about this before, then I'm not sure if these like really fit together well, but let's see. I love new makeup, it's so smooth. And now I'm gonna dig in with the brush and it's all ruined. Oh, okay. It's crapped a lot with the first swipe. So it really is creamy. Wow. Wow. I see you. And this blend is really well as well. Although it's really light, you can see. It's still white, what the hell? In the mirror it seems so normal, but I look at it in the camera and it's like, hey, what did you do with your face? Here we go. Oh, I like it so much. Literally, it's this thing I like a lot. I think it just didn't really work out with the foundation. And I want to put the leftover on my brush on the chin. Maybe the concealer. Oh my god, I just, oh my god, maybe the concealer fixed this thing. Oh my god, my life would be complete and I could still go out with this makeup because I really have to run some errands. So, please work. Um, well, but let's go on, we have to bake. So, they have a baking powder. This is the Magic HD Finishing Powder. I actually really like the Mark logo. It's so fresh and like cool. How do I use it? Hello? How can I get my powder out? Seriously? What the heck? I have no idea, like I'm just strolling it around. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Has a little sticker on it. Oh my god. 
Okay, never use your nails. Thank you, mom, for telling me that every time I was little, but I didn't really listen to you. Sorry. I'm gonna take this MAC spongy thing. Okay, definitely it's really smooth. Okay, it smoothens the makeup pretty well. I don't have any brow product. As I just got my brows done, I think I don't need much anyway, so I'm just gonna go in a little bit with the Anastasia Prowies, but just don't touch my brows then. Okay, so the brows are done, and I'm gonna swipe away the excess powder, although here's not a lot, like everything pretty much absorbed in. I'm gonna... Coffee machine! Like, I don't even drink coffee, but everyone in my home is like... The first thing they do when, in the morning when they wake up is to like, drink coffee. Like, why the heck do you even do this? I, I have this news mat SPF 30, so it's really good to use over your face. Even when it's just summer, you know? And it's in the dawn fair. So I'm gonna take this brush and just dab a little bit. Okay, it takes it pretty well, I like it. And let's set it here. Oh! Okay, okay, now let's try this on my forehead and if this doesn't make any difference, then definitely this foundation is a no-go. Oh, okay. Definitely made it better a bit. So, the powder is pretty good, I would say. Oh, and now I have the next really exciting thing, which is the Contour Duo. I think actually this shade would go well on darker or medium skin tones as well. Oh, and I also have the Pea Plush Cream Plush Stick. So maybe we should go in with that first and then do the powder things. I'm not really familiar with the cream blushes. I think they just released like the powder blushes as well in the Mark line. At the same time, I wanna try that. Oh my god! Oh my lord! Okay, it played out pretty well. Can you see? Like it's really natural looking right now. Wow. Okay, this is really good. I'm not a big fan of cream blushes, but I like this one. Again, a win. So I think I'm gonna count like the wins and the bad things. And how many percent is like good and how many percent is bad. Oh my god, I'm gonna do this. This is so exciting. I was just inventing something in the middle of doing the makeup tutorial. Now it's time to use the contour duo. I'm gonna use the Avon brush as well. Here we go. I kind of like it. It's pretty like light and subtle. You know, comparing to the Bahama Mama by the Palm, I think it's like a really good lighter version of that. No batchiness, no creasing, no nothing bad really. So now let's take a highlighting shade here. It's really shimmery. Um. the eyes and as I don't have a high primer but I have an even eye primer anyway so I'm gonna use this so this eye primer I've I've been enjoying for a while already this is something I could really recommend then I have this pink color eyeshadow stick in the color slate I was thinking of putting this like all over my lid just to see how it works I'm not really sure if it works but this is what this video is about Oh, and let me show the swatch of this. Kill me for this color. I freaking love this color. Not that easy to blend. So maybe it's not that good to use it all over your uh, eyelid. But this helped quite a bit. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up around a bit. I'm gonna try putting on only a little and then blending the outwards. I'm gonna cut the same result with this technique. But this is not all. I also have the new cream eyeshadows. This one is uh, Forever Prance and this one is totally dope. I think I'm gonna go for this as I already have this crazy thing going on. This Ooh, seems pretty. Let's see how it is on the eyelid. Okay, so here the cleaner I think is the cream eyeshadow right here. I gotta say I kind of like it. So here is the totally dope that I just put on my eyelid and this one is the forever prawns and they really look very pretty and creamy. Um, I don't know, to make this look a bit better, I'm gonna take some just usual eyeshadow and just like really blend it out a bit. So it's this Avon uh, eyeshadow quad and I'm gonna use this one from here. So I just put a little darker here on my crease. I think it made it like a little bit better. It definitely will be better when I put on the liner. So 
this is the next thing what we're gonna do and uh, this is the mega fix liquid eyeliner in black this is like the hardest task to do the eyeliner on camera and uh, let's try to make like a little wing oh okay it's really easy to fill in the wing because it's like a marker type so if you use it right it's really easy it definitely made it look so much better okay i'm done with the eyeliner and i gotta say it's not a bad eyeliner at all i just think the applicator is a bit hard it's not flexible at all but it has like a nice little thing for you to hold it so it's pretty comfortable and it's nice black tone really really black if you're looking for something really precise i think this is not for you so as to add some little color i have this uh, mark Artist Chill Longwear Eyeliner. Like, look at that. Oh, I just barely touch and it's so creamy. And I'm gonna do a line with it under my eye and then uh, smudge it out a bit with the eyeshadow stick. It really makes my eyes look like they are gray, but they are queen. I'm gonna take the stick again, put it in the outer corner. Oh, and now a really exciting part, which is mascara. But what is exciting is that it has like one, two, three. So you can choose the volume and I thought I do one eye with the volume one and the other with volume three. So we can see if there actually is any difference between them and how good the mascara in general is. So let's wipe it to number one and let's see the applicator. Ooh. It's nice. Oh, and what I usually have noticed with the Avon mascaras is that when you first open the bag, they are a bit wet. But when the time goes on like a few weeks and you try them uh, again, then they are like this perfect texture. Okay, it's not bad at all. Really like regular feeling mascara. Let's put it back in and let's go for volume 3. Okay, so it definitely is a bit more thick much more volume on this side okay so one coat on each eye volume one volume three and wow you can like see already that these are so much longer really nice okay this is totally a win and what do you think should i use this one on my lips or a red one? Oh my god it smells so good let's go for red because Ava has the yes hashtag yes challenge going on right now take part in this just post a picture on instagram using the hashtag yes challenge and you might win a photo shoot with Boudoir Teen which is a magazine in Estonia this is what I'm gonna use the speak color lip tint pen hello I haven't used something like this before mmm look at this cherry and the best thing about the tints is that you can only see a little because it's still trying, but... So this is the final result of my full face using only Avon Mark line. Oh, I forgot to uh, put on the prep and set spray, so let's set now. Ooh. As a setting spray, I would use it as a preparation spray. No. So the foundation, I think the makeup might be a little bit bad only because of the foundation do because you know it's the base and if this is bad then everything kind of is bad so always get yourself a really really good foundation then the concealer is definitely a win the fixing powder really good for that price so a win the powder yes a win now the contouring duo no i kind of liked the contouring tone but not the highlighting tone at all and it's so powdery so I think it's not worth to really buy it now the cream blush really amazed me so it's a win now this little guy here I really like the tone I really like the texture but it's just hard to blend so don't use it all over your eyelids as I did you know it's first impressions so I might make some mistakes otherwise it's amazing and same story goes for the cream eyeshadows Hard to blend, but they look amazing. So the Mark eyeliner, I think it's pretty good, but I personally think I wouldn't really buy it. So this is one of the best things that I discovered today, and this is the eye pencil. The texture is so pigmented and rich. I mean, it could compete to some of the really high-end ones. 
so it win. And the mascara, I would say the volume 1 is not that good, but the volume 3 definitely does its job really well. I don't know about the volume 2, I think it's something in the middle. I think it's a win as well. And the lip tint is something really new for me, I have to test it out more, but definitely if, as the first impression I really like it, it's like doesn't smudge, you know, you can like, you know, everything really stays in place, like see, nothing came off as well. So this is all for this video, oh my god, it was so long but so worth it because I discovered some really bad things but some really good things and some in the middle. So if you made it here until this point then give it a big big thumbs up because I think we're literally like no one really watched it until here. But if you did then appreciate my work, I appreciate you that you watched so give it a like. And go follow me for the pictures on my Instagram. I really enjoy Instagram. It's like my favorite app. And if you want to know where I got this dress from, then I have a new haul on my channel. So click on the info button and check it out. Mwah! Bye!